Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my top picks of 2016. I was inspired to do this video by watching LB and Jerusha Couture and so many others here on YouTube who have shared the items that they have just absolutely loved, the top of the top, things they've reached for throughout the year and um, continue to purchase or to wear or to use and enjoy. And I thought I would share some of mine and I had so many when I started making a list of what to include for this video that I actually narrowed it down a little further. I'm, I'm going to share things that I actually purchased in 2016 that I have used throughout the year, enjoyed, and reached for time and time again. So these are kind of the top of the top of the items that I've purchased in 2016, which as I've mentioned in previous videos, was quite a lot. So um, enough said about that. I'm going to jump right in and get started with some beauty products. The first one is a texturizing spray from Oribe. And um, this was the year that I kind of changed up my hair, although you can't tell today because I've got it pulled up and I do get a lot of comments, um, why I don't wear my hair down more? And the answer is just because when I am getting up early and um, am in a rush, it's just really easy to do this versus taking the time to first straighten my hair and then put a curl in it or um, have to use my flat iron, all that kind of stuff, because I do have very kind of wavy and frizzy hair naturally, and it's kind of a pain in the neck, and so I do put it up in a clip probably more than I should, but um, it's just really easy. But anyway, when I do wear my hair down, I've been trying to let the wave do its thing and kind of enhance it, learning how to, you know, put a wave in my hair and this texturizing spray has been the best that I've tried and of course it's the most expensive that I've tried um, and this uh, bottle is empty right now and I need to repurchase it. I have been using the Moroccan oil texturizing spray and it's not nearly as good so I'm probably going to be going back to this and if you have a texturizing spray that you're loving that you feel is just as good as the Oribe and you've tried this do let me know in the comments below because this is a pricey little item and um, yeah, but it, it's amazing and it smells amazing and I probably will at least purchase it one more time until I find a substitute. The next thing, um, beauty-wise, that I have been really loving, we'll talk about some Bobbi Brown things that were released this year and that I have really loved and enjoyed. The first one is the Nude Finish Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 15. I have it in the medium tint. I'm wearing it right now. And this product, um, I've always been a tinted moisturizer lover. I do not like to wear a lot of makeup. I like to let my skin show through, and this is kind of the perfect, um, you know, your skin but better product to put on your face so that you don't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup, but yet it kind of just evens everything out and um, even better than the former tinted moisturizer from Bobbi Brown. So I've been loving this. And with it, I bought the nude finished illuminating powder that I have been using as kind of a setting powder with my makeup. And I have this in the color nude. And um, I've been using this basically, like I said, to set my makeup and it just gives your skin a little bit of a glow more so than using just the sheer press powder, which I used in the past. I've used many different sheer powders over my lifetime and um, by far this has been kind of my favorite so far that I have tried and um, will definitely continue to repurchase. So these two together have been one of my favorite uh, beauty products from Bobbi Brown in 2016. And then my favorite lipstick for 2016 is another Bobbi Brown formula, and I actually have six of them to show you. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown Luxe Lipstick, and I went crazy for this. I started purchasing it, I think, in the spring. Uh, the first one I purchased was, if I can find it here, I have so many, uh, was Bobbi of course, uh, which is just a kind of pinky nude tone. And I absolutely loved this so much and got so much use out of it that I ended up buying five more throughout the year. Um, I would describe this lipstick as being very moisturizing and hydrating, but at the same time long wearing, which is very unusual for me because any lipsticks that are usually moisturizing kind of rub right off on me. And I tend to be someone that when I eat especially, I tend to wipe it like right off my face. I don't know how people can get through a meal without getting, without their lipstick coming off. It amazes me. But um, in any case, uh, this lipstick I have found I can like eat and still 
I have a stain on my lips, if nothing else. So this has been absolutely great, and I love it so much. I have six of them. The next one I have here, in no particular order, is Your Majesty, and this is a deep, um, deep, I guess, scarlet sort of color, and I love that. I use that a lot over the holidays, as well as this one. This is the Parisian Red, another one of my favorites. It's just a nice bright true red that um, was really really great for Christmas I think I wore it for New Year's the one I'm wearing today is actually tawny this is one of my newest ones and this is kind of just a brown a warmer kind of brown tone that I think would be great in the fall I also have pink buff which is a lighter nude pink and I'm not as crazy about this color but I think I will wear it more in the spring and then the last one I have is Brocade, which looks like this, and it is a kind of um, wine, not really wine, how would you describe this? A berry color, I guess, a deep berry color. Really, really pretty. So that is um, a product that I discovered this year. I think it might have come out in 2015, but um, yeah, loving, loving those lipsticks. And then the next beauty product or the last beauty product I have here um, is a fragrance and it's probably not going to come as a surprise. I think I've talked about this in so many of my videos. It's Chanel Number no. 5 Low, which was released this past September. Um, I know that only because my birthday is in September and that is when I went out and uh, on the website and purchased it without even trying it. And I love this fragrance. I've always loved Chanel Number no. 5, but this one in particular, there's just something a little bit warmer about it and a little bit um, more sweet almost. It, it kind of has a vanilla undertone going on with the kind of sparkly number five and it is just beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of Chanel's Allure. It's like someone sprayed number five and Allure or, or combined the two and came up with this. That's what it smells like to me anyway. And it's also got a little bit of citrus in it, but it's really, really pretty, and I heard someone else say, and I can't remember who said it, that uh, what they really liked about this fragrance is it's something you can wear kind of all year long. It's not something that smells like a summer scent or a winter scent or anything like that, and it truly is one of those scents. It's warm, but yet it's fresh, and it's very comforting, but yet it's something that makes you feel really kind of dressed up and uh, polished and I just, I don't know, it's really beautiful. So Chanel Number no. 5 Low is definitely my favorite fragrance for 2016. And then going into fashion, I'll start off with a few accessories that I purchased in 2016 that I have just used to death. The first is a pair of sunglasses from Ray-Ban, my favorite sunglasses company um, and or eyewear company. <laughs> and these are the Club Round sunglasses and they look like this. And they're like the Club Masters, but a little bit more rounded. And I have just fallen in love with these sunglasses. They're so comfortable to wear. They kind of just go with everything. They're casual, but yet I wear them even when I'm just going to work in a suit or pretty much anything. And they have really brought back my love for Club Masters. I've even dragged out my old uh, original Club Masters and started wearing those more because of these and I just get so many compliments on them and of all my sunglasses and I have a lot these are the ones that I reached for the most in 2016 and then a piece of jewelry that I am wearing that is a little bit newer um, I got this later this year it is a watch by Cluse and it looks like this it's a really simple watch um, which is why I got it. I wanted something with a large face, just really simple and black leather. And the strap on this is actually really softened since I got it. Kind of just goes with everything. It's got silver hardware, but you can get this with rose gold or gold hardware. And it comes in just a variety of um, different colors um, for the band and metallics for the band. And um, I think they're all priced around the same, around $100 or less. And so they are a great price point and a great kind of everyday watch. And I already ordered, um, the band is actually interchangeable. So I haven't tried to take it off yet, but I just got um, another band from them that says on the outside, feel the moment, focus on what matters. And 
Here it is their name on the bottom there, and it's just a cute little dust bag um, that has the other strap in it. And so I purchased for kind of the springtime the, um, sorry, I haven't even taken the tags off of it yet, taken the tags off of it, but I purchased kind of this gray toned band that I think will be perfect and make this just a very springy um, summer watch. Just really lighten it up, but again, still staying with a very neutral band to kind of go with everything. So I've been really enjoying that watch and I pretty much haven't taken it off since I got it. So loving that. Um, and then the other piece of jewelry that really stands out from 2016 is my Chanel brooch. And I just featured this in another video I did, but I love it so much. It really is a kind of game changer piece of jewelry for me. It kind of is one of these pieces that goes with everything and just adds a little bit of, um, sparkle to anything that you wear. So I'm really loving that. And what I really like about it is just that you can literally put it on with anything like a denim jacket, which I'm going to show you soon. Um, and some, you know, I could throw it on with this cardigan I'm wearing, which is a another way I wear it. I've put it on scarves and shawls and it's just really, really pretty. And I would love to put it on a hat. Um, I haven't found the perfect hat yet. I'm always looking for the perfect hat, um, but I think it would be a really nice, it's a good size because I got the small and I may e end up getting an even larger one at some point, but for now I'm really happy with this one and it's definitely a top pick for 2016. My next top pick for 2016 are the jeans that I have just been living in all of this year and they are from American Eagle Outfitters and these are the 360 Super Stretch Jeggings. I have these in multiple colors. I'm actually wearing a pair right now in a lighter wash. These are kind of a darker wash. Um, I have them in the ankle length and I did size up on these, but I have been wearing these as an alternative to leggings and absolutely loving them. And I'm finding that the more kind of nice accessories and shoes and handbags that I have in my collection, the less I need to spend on like really expensive clothes. I used to buy jeans that cost probably five times as much as these, um, but you know, eventually they either go out of style or they just don't, um, they shrink up on the bottom because I wash them and wash them and wash them to death. Um, so I have found that these have just been the perfect jaggings or kind of uh, skinny jeans to wear for everyday use and I've just gotten a ton of use out of them and I also have them here in a kind of um, off black uh, destroyed or destructed wash and loving these and yeah I, they're just kind of my go-to the, these jeans with kind of a long cardigan and a tank top underneath and I am out the door just throw on a nice scarf maybe you know, a big watch and um, some booties. And I just, uh, that is sort of like my standard uniform right now. And another piece of denim that I've been loving that I mentioned is this jacket from Banana Republic. I have quite a few denim jackets and I really need to, that's another area I need to downsize in my life, but this one will be absolutely staying because I've gotten a ton of use out of it. It's really the perfect fitting denim jacket, not too long, not too short, not too big, not too small. Um, it has a little bit of stretch in it, but not too much. And it's really, really soft and worn in feeling. And so I've just really enjoyed this. I've worn it pretty much all four seasons and gotten a ton of use out of it. So that has been a great purchase from 2016. And then shoes. I've got quite a few pairs of shoes to talk about. Uh, early in the year, I took a trip to New York City and purchased my first two pairs of Chanel Ballerina flats, and they have been probably the best purchase of the year. I mean, I have gotten so much use out of these shoes, and they go with everything, and they are so comfortable. I have them in the black and beige um, kind of classic um, flats and I also have them in the quilted, can't even hold these up, the quilted um, black ones and I just can't say enough about them. These shoes have just been 
amazing and they were my first pair of kind of real higher end designer shoes and I'm really glad I went for flats because I just um, kill, I destroy my work shoes which are mostly heels and I don't wear these quite as often but I love that I they are versatile enough to wear them to work or to wear them just with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and they just make any outfit look fantastic so I'm absolutely loving my ballerina flats and then another pair of shoes um, that I've gotten a ton of use out of are these booties that I had on today. So please disregard the uh, dirtiness of the shoes, but these are just some J. Crew booties that are well, well worn because I have worn them literally nonstop since I got them this fall. And um, I don't know if they will continue making the exact same style, but I always kind of go for this low ankle boot um, kind of cut. I just, they're so comfortable from day one. I like that the heel isn't too high or too low and they just elongate your leg and are so, so easy to wear. So I'm loving those. And then the last pair of shoes that I couldn't not mention and I haven't had them very long, but um, they are just one of my favorites of 2016 are my Stuart Weitzman, uh, these are the Lowland boots. And so they tie in the back, they are the thigh high boots, and they just elongate your legs and fit like a glove, like seriously like a glove. And they have introduced me to the world of Stuart Weitzman. I now own several pairs of Stuart Weitzman boots, but uh, these were the ones that kind of started it all. And I was really hesitating about spending this much money on what I thought was sort of a passing trend. And I waited and I waited and I waited and years passed and I finally broke down and got them. And I'm so, so happy I did. And then I think I'm down to handbags. I can't believe I've already made it through all this stuff. So the first handbag I'll, I'm gonna talk about, I have three of them to mention, um, is the bag that I have that has really surprised me this year. It's not a kind of super high-end luxury brand, but it is still um, a nice designer bag and something that I have been using for work quite a bit. And it is my Tory Burch Perry Tote in black. And this is just a really simple basic tote. I was thinking about purchasing the Saint Laurent um, large size black tote that is kind of um, a similar size and shape to this and very kind of basic and minimalist um, and that is kind of what I was looking for something that was like a really nice leather since I am not really a fan of Saffiano leather and I've been down that road many times with my Michael Kors and Kate Spade bags of the past and it's just not as soft and kind of casual and luxurious um, to me as this is so I found this one um, actually Chase Amy on here. Hi Amy, she um, has a ton of these <laughs> or maybe not a ton but she has at least a few of these and I have been watching her videos about it and so when I saw it in the store I gave it a look and I decided it was for me and I just have the dust bag in the bottom there but it has a ton of room inside. It's really basic. It just has this pocket in the back and a cell phone pocket and uh, kind of this beige interior so you can really find your items easily inside this bag and it's just got a button closure or a snap closure at the top and it's just a really simple basic work bag for a great price point. I think I got this on sale for under $200 and um, it's done me really well and it has literally no signs of wear on it. Uh, there are no feet on the bottom but the bag is in perfect condition and I think in the spring I would like to get a another color maybe a lighter color there's a gray one that I have my eye on I think it's called French gray and it's really beautiful as well so we'll see but um really really in love with that tote definitely a favorite for 2016 and then another handbag that I could not not include for 2016 since this was on my wish list for so very long and I got it in 2016 is my Chanel Classic flap with the silver hardware in the black lambskin leather. I love this bag. Um, I know that this is a keeper for a lifetime bag and uh, again it's another one of those items that you can just have simple jeans and a t-shirt and throw this on or you can be dressed up to go out to a fancy formal event and throw this on and either way you look just so put together and finished and it just completes me so that is um, a definite big favorite for 2016 
And last but not least in the handbag category is the handbag that I was actually using today. And it is my Gucci Soho disco bag. And I got this also kind of late in the year, but um, it definitely needed to be in this video because it was one of those bags that from day one just felt like me. Like I put it on and I just said, this kind of completes anything I put on. Um, it just goes with my personality. I'm kind of realizing about myself that as much as I love structured bags, and I do love structured bags, um, I do have a soft spot for just, you know, beautiful soft leather bags that still have some structure, but are just casual enough to, you know, elevate your outfit, but still just feel really comfortable and kind of just easy. Like this is a really easy bag, a very basic, easy, simple bag to wear, even though it's a Gucci bag. Um, and it's my first Gucci anything. And this tassel was the reason I held off for so long. I was like, that's just going to annoy me. I don't like a lot of frou-frou things on my bags. <laughs> I'm not a big bag charm person or anything like that, but I love it. It's like, so it makes the whole bag and I don't know what took me so long to fall in love with it. But, um, once I did, I fell pretty hard, and now I think I would like to get another one at some point in my life. But for now, I'm really glad I went with black because it kind of goes with everything, and um, it's got a ton of stuff in here right now. And I will definitely do a comparison video, I think I've mentioned that before, um, with another camera style bag that's very similar that I purchased from J. Crew, and tell you kind of the pros and cons of each. But this one, um, by far, is like the more what's the word, luxurious and um, the more quality, I guess, bag of the two. And I just absolutely, absolutely love this bag and have gotten a ton of use out of it in the end of 2016. So that is it for all of the best of the best of everything that I purchased and have just used to death and will continue to use or to repurchase. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you all for watching. I think the next video I'm gonna do is actually going to be a handbag collection video. So stay tuned for that, hopefully later this week. And I will see you all soon in my next video. And actually not later this week, it's Friday. Make it early next week. <laughs> I have no idea what day it is. I'll talk to you all soon and have a great weekend. Bye.